So this is an interesting development, everybody. One, uh, Bernardino Sandersington has actually come out and said some positive words when asked about Marianne Williamson. So a reporter for Business Insider says, I asked Senator Sanders and Warren, who both back Biden, about Marianne Williamson's progressive challenge. Bernie said, quote, I'm sure she's going to run a strong campaign and raise very important issues. And Warren said, quote, Biden is going to be the Democratic nominee. Okay, so they have a couple more quotes in here, not too many, but let's go through it, pick out all the gems. Independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont offered tepid praise on Tuesday for Marianne Williamson's 2024 presidential campaign, telling Insider at the Capitol that he expected her to raise very important issues during the campaign. Williamson, I hate how they just describe her as a self-help author. I don't think that fully encapsulates her or is fair. Uh, Williamson, a self-help author, spiritual leader, and 2020 presidential candidate, is currently the only well-known Democrat to officially launch launch presidential campaign. President Joe Biden is widely expected to announce a re-election bid, but has yet to officially do so. Sanders has said he will support Biden if he seeks re-election and told Insider on Tuesday that he doesn't want to speculate about Williamson's chances. So in other words, they tried to prod Bernie to be like, hey man, hey, come on, she doesn't have much of a chance, right? 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 That's what I get out of that. And Bernie didn't take the bait. He said, look, I'm not going to speculate about her chances. Uh, But Williamson endorsed Sanders in 2020 after dropping out of the campaign, and he indicated a respect for her that other Democrats haven't shown. Quote, I know Marianne. I'm sure she's going to run a strong campaign and raise very important issues. Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, by contrast, was firm in her support for Biden when asked about Williamson's campaign. I think that President Biden is going to be the Democratic nominee and he's going to be reelected, said Warren, saying she supported Biden because he's accomplished a tremendous amount in the last two years and he's got real momentum to keep on delivering for the American people. See, this is classic politician BS. First of all, the idea of he's got momentum to keep delivering. Uh, Hello, the Republicans just won the House. That means you have zilch momentum. You have no momentum. Like, you're going to get nothing done. The best you could do is, like, block movement in the wrong direction. And even to the idea that he accomplished a tremendous amount. Look, I'll give credit where it's due. He's certainly been the best president of my lifetime. He's to the left of Obama. He's to the left of Bill Clinton. He's obviously to the left of Donald Trump and George W. Bush. But I wouldn't say it's a tremendous amount. I'd actually say, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that much. He's a status quo tweaker, as I call them. So, anyway, and they go on to say here, you know, they quote some of Marion Williamson's launch speech and things of that nature. Now, we talked about this yesterday a little bit in the context of the Progressive Caucus uh, embarrassing themselves and rushing to endorse Biden before he even announces his campaign yet. And here are my thoughts. Like, I understand, if you're a politician... You're in D.C. You're trying to have influence. You're trying to get some of the stuff that you want done, done. I understand it's a pickle. If you endorse somebody who's an outsider who has very little chance of winning, you're giving away all of your influence. You're not going to get a committee position, which means you can't shape policy. You can't call in favors from leadership. So you basically might shoot yourself in the foot and get none of the things that you're trying to get, right? Like, I understand that's difficult. Um, But... The principled thing to do is to say, who do I agree with more on their policy agenda? I will endorse that person. None of these people are going to be principled. So then the semi-principled thing to do is to just kind of sit back and say, you know what? I'm not going to rush out there and endorse Biden. I just won't say anything. I'll just let the race play out. And then whatever happens, I will react accordingly. That's semi-principled. Because at least you're not, you know, actively slobbing the knob of somebody who you disagree with on more things. So Bernie, again, is in a tough position because, uh, you know, he has some sway with the Biden administration. um, And he has gotten, he's the one who wrote Build Back Better. I mean, he was most responsible for writing Build Back Better. Now, ultimately, we only got the IRA because of Manchin and Cinema and Biden's inability to fight. But he does have some sway in this administration. So from his perspective, he's like, well, you know, shit, I feel like I got to endorse Biden or else I'm giving up my influence, which means I'm giving up my policy preferences, etc. But even being in what I would argue is probably a tougher position than the Progressive Caucus, because Bernie is closer with Biden than the Progressive Caucus is with Biden. He still is is good enough to say some tepidly kind things about Marianne Williamson. And look, my guess is 
a lot of this has to do with the fact that Marianne Williamson, when she dropped out of the race, endorsed Bernie Sanders. And so Bernie knows, hey, Marianne is like more on board with my policy agenda than Biden is. And so, I mean, obviously, credit to Bernie for saying some basic kind words about Marianne, taking her seriously, um, refusing to be like, she has zero chance. Another reason why he might say that, by the way, is because remember, when he launched his campaign in 2016, you know what his first uh, poll was? 4%. You know what Marianne's first poll is? 4%. So they're starting at the exact same place. And Bernie remembers how all of the political establishment you know, acted like he's got no shot, he's a joke, it's pathetic, it's sad. And then he ended up getting 47% of the vote in the primary and made a phenomenal run at it. And that's with the DNC putting their thumb on the scale against him. So that's another reason why he may be kind, you know, and, and not speculating on the low numbers, et cetera, et cetera. But look, it's good. He comes out and he gave like, you know, some positive words about Marianne. I will say, though, I still would would prefer and would respect even more if he at least did the semi principal thing and was like, I'm just not going to endorse Biden. I'm just going to sit out, right? And then let whatever happens, happens, and then react accordingly. And then if Marianne shows some life and she gets to, you know, whatever, let's say 35%, 40% in the polls, then endorse Marianne or something. But even that, I wouldn't really expect that. Um, But if he were to just stay out, I would respect that. But uh, he's not. I mean, when he's pressed on it, he says, I support President Biden. Um, But to say she's going to run a good campaign, she's a good person, etc., um, that's more than you're going to get from anybody else in Washington. And uh, that says a lot in, in multiple ways.